I'm Mara Fitzgibbons, and I teach at Marist College in Poughkeepsie, New York, and I'd like to talk about teaching The Book of the City of Ladies by Christine de Pizan in tandem with Alison Bechdel's 2006 graphic novel uh, memoir, Fun Home. And the short answer is that um, working with these two texts together gave the class and I a chance to think about how women artists can push back against limitations that are placed on them and also sort of authorize themselves in um, all senses of the word. So um, Christine de Pizan wrote the Book of the City of Ladies in the first decade of the 15th century. She wrote it in French, but there are a couple of translations into English that are readily available, including the one that you see here on the left. There's also a Penguin Classics edition and a Norton version that gives the City of Ladies, but also other works that de Pizan wrote. We also have at our disposal a wonderful resource, a fully digitized version of the deluxe illuminated anthology of de Pizan's works, Harley 4431. Um, and the images in there are, are really amazing and, and worth working with. So what happens? De Pizan tells of her narrator, Christine, who is reading various works um, that are very misogynist towards women. Um, and she actually asks herself um, and asks God sort of, why was I created this way? Why did you put me in this body? Um, she puts her head down in kind of despair when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, um, these three crowned ladies appear to her. Um, as you can see in the middle passage, she's absolutely awestruck. They turn out to be reason, rectitude, and justice. Um, justice is the um, last one that's mentioned there in that second passage. Um, she's the fierce one. And um, even though, as you see in the third passage, um, she's at first too overwhelmed to speak, eventually Christine does start speaking with them. And with their help, she starts thinking of building this city of ladies that will be a refuge for virtuous women. And in the rest of the book, um, through dialogue and through telling stories of virtuous women, they kind of create this, um, this city. All right, so in a lot of ways, this 15th century work um, deeply engaged with um, Christian theology and spirituality is very different than a 21st century secular memoir, uh, particularly one in which the author's closeted father tragically commits suicide and um, the author sort of undergoes her gradual kind of um, recognition of her identity as a lesbian cartoonist. Um, but as we worked with the two texts, um, certain sort of parallels or, or points of intersection became clear. Um, and a bunch of those are, are sort of part of the questions and prompts section of the website. And I'll just give one example here. So um, a key moment in Fun Home is when Allison, as a child, is at a diner with her father and she has a kind of transformative vision. Um, and in this case, it's of a butch truck driver. Um, and she's riveted and all of a sudden the sight of um, this person just opens up paths that um, she had never really thought of before. Um, even though as a child she can't fully make sense of everything that this woman means to her, she experiences a sort of shock of recognition. And so one of the things that we discussed in the class was how um, both in City of Ladies and in Fun Home there's this kind of moment of awe and a kind of transformative vision. And in the case of Bechdel, um, this is something that kind of cuts through the deceptions and half-truths that have been part of her life. And it's one stage in the process by which she kind of um, develops a more authentic sense of herself. So um, this kind of dialogue stayed with students throughout the semester, and we often used both texts as a touchstone. And at the end of the semester, um, the students designed a library display that highlighted um, parallels between graphic narratives from a variety of eras. And as you see on the right, they gave a prominent role to depictions of Christine and Allison sort of engaging in a kind of productive and active and positive way with texts. Um, this was an upper level course for English majors, but I could also see using this sort of pairing in a um, 
general education like literature and gender course um, or a first year seminar or writing for college course that maybe um, discussed writers positioning themselves strategically and, and kind of um, talking about their own credibility. So um, I hope that you've found this intriguing and useful, and I would love to hear from you if um, you try this pairing or something similar to it. Thanks a lot for viewing.